we're now moving over onto the chestnut cupboard. Again, there's two turn buttons on here. And I can take the door off there. And when I take the door off, what you'll see on the inside is the compatibility chart. So there's your compatibility chart of what products you can use with what. And that's a very, very handy piece of kit. You can get it off the website. And uh, if you look on the Chestnut website, there's loads of information on Chestnut website on how to use the products that they, they make. So there's the cupboard for the Chestnut website. And here's the products. The cupboard has got, if I take you through it, we've got safety cloth on there. You must never use real cloth. Real cloth can be dangerous if it gets caught in the working mechanisms of the layer. This is safety cloth, so it's paper based and it will tear if it gets caught in any of the um, projects that you do. I'll just take a piece out there. So there's a bit of safety cloth there. Okay and that's used to polish the material. Then next to it we've got our web racks which is a man-made wire wool. We've got the three, the four different grades there. Again I'll go into those in more detail when we're doing the projects. Tack cloths for when we rub down and we want to get rid of the dust from there when we cut it back. We've got gilt creams, there's copper, silver and gold. We've got waxes in there, we've got canuba, we've got stick wax and We've also got waxes that are to be used in conjunction with the buffing system. Your Tripoli, your White and your Carnauba. So those waxes would be used in conjunction with the buffing system such as the, the chestnut buffing tray. And that's used between centres to buff the projects. So I'll put it around the right way. That's the Tripoli, the White and the Carnauba. And it's held into the jaws of the chuck with this arbor. And then what we've got, uh, that's the buffing wheel kit. Again, I'm going to go into that in more detail. We also have in the top here, I'll show you one of the domes that can go onto the arbors to polish inside your bowls and your goblets. We've got the range of wood waxes, wood wax 22, that one's clear, but we've got some coloured tins of wax in there as well. We've got the range of lacquers, we've got the green satin lacquer, blue acrylic gloss, orange melamine, those are all clear lacquers. And we've also got the ebonizing lacquer for when we do projects with the gilt creams. Again, we'll be working with that with the ash. And we're also going to be doing some exciting coloured work projects using the metallic paints. And behind those we've got the chestnut iridescent range as well. And behind those cans of lacquer, if I just lift them out there, we've got cut and polish waxes and we've got microcrystalline. And again, I'll be showing you how to use those on projects with different types of materials, including exotics. We've got bottles of acrylic sand and sailor, we've got the melamine. We've got friction polish for small projects. We have the shellac sanding sailor. We've also got buffing cream and hide in there. We've got the acrylic lacquer in liquid form as well. So you've got your liquid form acrylic lacquer and you've also got your spray form acrylic lacquer there. Take these two out, you can see hiding behind there is melamine lacquer, tongue oil and the liquid sand in cellulose sealer. And we also use the spray sand in cellulose sealer, which I've got one hiding in behind the, the tin of acrylic lacquer there. And sand in sealer, I love the spray sand in sealer, it's such a quick sealed finish. We've got the abrasives, the chestnut do, which are the net abrasives, again I'll go through the different grits and why we use the different grits and we've also got, oh yes, a new addition to the chestnut range which I find very very useful is if I take the lid off there we've got the pistol grips and the pistol grip just goes onto the tin there lines up with the, the actual nozzle 
and you've got a pistol grip like that so that you can just press the nozzle and the spray will come out. I'll not do it now because I don't want any spray to go onto the camera. So, take what about me? Oh, you know, I don't want any spray to go on you either. Oh no, health and safety. Mm. You need your mask, Janice. Yes. So, put the lid back onto there. I think that's more or less it in the chestnut cupboard, apart from, I just need to mention the super glues that they do. You can buy cheap super glue, you can get super glue at the pound shop, but it doesn't last 10 minutes. And the quality, in my opinion, is not good. The best super glue I've ever used is chestnuts. You've got your thick, your medium, and your thin. But if you go wrong and you have a bit of an accident, you've got your D-Bonder for if you stick your fingers together. You shouldn't. You should be very carefully using it. But there's your D-Bonder just in case it's required. So would you contact Chestnut directly to buy all of these products? Yes, you could go to Chestnut direct to buy the products. Or again, you can get the products from Snape and Wood Turning, d &M Tools, Tool Post. A lot of the major wood turning manufacturers stock Chestnut. Because chestnut, as it says on the door, are the first for finishes. I've used nothing else but chestnut in the last 17 years that I've been doing this job. And I've never had a problem with any of the finishes. So I stick to what's good and I work with what's good. So there we are. That's the chestnut cupboard. First for finishes. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we're going to start doing some turning on the Regent lathe and... We're going to sharpen the tools and make a project. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe.